So how do you embed outgrow content onto your site? You can put outgrow content onto WordPress, lead pages, Unbounce, Instapage, you name it, you can basically put it on there. All you need to do is to be able to edit the HTML on the page and add the outgrow embed code. It's actually pretty straightforward to do, but I want to walk you through it so you can get a good sense of how you can take a piece of content you make on outgrow and put it onto any site or landing page or blog post. So the first type of embed is an in-page embed. An in-page embed is when you're putting a piece of content, like this looking to build an app calculator, in the middle of a site with other content around the site above and below, and potentially also to the sides of the content, the outgrow content. So now how do you do this in outgrow? The first thing you do is you click on this configure tab in the middle on the top and then you click embed on a web page, which is a section on the left. And then you click in page embed. Then all you do is you scroll down to the bottom and you either decide to add the option for Facebook comments or not. Most people turn that off because they want people to focus on the actual calculator. And then you just click copy. You take this code, now it's copied to your clipboard, and you paste it onto your landing page, tool, WordPress, etc. You just copy and paste it. So it's a pretty straightforward way to embed a piece of content on your site. The key is that you've published the calculator. Once you've published the calculator, this code will go live on, on your site. Um, the actual calculator will show on your, on your page. And what's great is as you make changes to your calculator, you optimize certain things. All you have to do is click publish changes on the top right again and it will automatically update the embed on your site so you don't have to keep copying and pasting new embed code as you make changes to the outgo tool. You just paste the embed code once and all future changes will go live as soon as you click publish changes. Okay. The second type of embed is a full page embed and here you come up and you just click full page and you'll see that basically the quiz or calculator take up the entire page. And so again, all you do is you click copy and you paste the embed code on your end. Again, very straightforward. The third type of pop-up uh, of embed is a pop-up. And so here you have different types of pop-ups. So let's look at the first type, which is a button uh, pop-up. So you go to the configure embed on a web page and click pop-up. And so here you'll see that you can have the, you can customize the way the pop-up is triggered. You can have it as text, just get started. Change the text color, change the font size, change the border radius. Well, in this case, there's no button, so there's no border radius. But I can choose to turn on the button. Now the button shows, and I can change the border radius. I can have it like that, I can have it like this, I can put it so I, as I change the border radius, I can see, okay, now it's a square, uh, sorry, a rectangle. And as I move it, the, um, the button's corners start to curve. So the border radius changes. So you can customize the button as you like. And now this doesn't really look that good. So I can change, um, I can change the color, the background to whatever works with my brand, you know? So, and as I change it, you can kind of see, okay, this is my uh, button color. And then I can change the text color. Um, to like a darker color, and that's done there. Okay, so that covers uh, launching a pop-up pop as a button. Um, but within a button, there's three types of pop-ups. There's a classic pop-up, which appears in the center of the page, a drawer on the left side of the page, which comes out on the left, and then a drawer on the right side of the page, which comes out on the right. And so you can choose what type of embed you uh, pop-up you want. Once you click classic or drawer or left or right, after you do that and you've, you like the button, you like everything, just click copy and everything you've done here is gonna be included in this code. You can go and um, paste this embed code on your landing page and that's all you have to do to embed, uh, to launch a pop, embed your outgrow experience and have it launch as a pop-up on trigger of a, of a button. The next is exit intent. So for those of you that aren't 100% familiar with exit intent, 
that it, that occurs uh, when if I'm moving my my cursor and mouse out of the page, a pop-up appears to try to get you back onto the site, and that's called exit intent because you've shown intent of exiting the page by moving your cursor. And so we have our last attempt at keeping you there, last attempt at getting your email, last attempt at uh, having you take a second look at the site. Um, and that's what exit intent is. It basically knows when you're moving your mouse out of the page, you're likely to leave, and then it gives you a pop-up uh, to try to engage you a bit more before you leave. To do that in Outgrow, again, configure, embed on a web page, pop-up, but this time you have to schedule the pop-up as exit intent. So show before a leave, user leaves your page and repeat after 10 days. Okay? So that they're not seeing it every time. If, if a user comes to your page every day, you probably don't want them to see it every single time. So you can say repeat after 10 days, uh, which is the most common option people put. Um, if you want to be a bit more aggressive, you can reduce it. If you want to be um, a little more conservative, you can increase it. Okay? based on what you think is best for your audience. And in this case, the pop-up of the quiz or calculator will launch when someone moves their cursor out of the page. And that's exit intent. The last type of pop-up is called timed control. And this is also under the scheduling option, under configure embed on a web page. And when you click time control, you can show exactly when the pop-up loads. So you can say, I want a pop-up to appear after you've spent seven seconds on the page. And I want it to repeat after 10 days. And now the pop-up is gonna automatically trigger once someone lands on the page within five seconds. And when you've done that, you just click copy and you have the embed code. So again, all, if you're doing exit intent, time control, whatever you're doing, after you finalize what you're doing on the left, you can just click copy and you're all set. So that covers the different types of embed. If you ever have any questions about embedding um, on a specific type of landing page or a specific site or a specific blog post, just message us over here on the bottom right, click new conversation, and we're always there happy to help. Thank you.